So, hello from me. Um, why am I doing this video? It's because someone's wrong on the internet. <laughs> you can, wouldn't believe. Um, and the person repeatedly said that it would be preferable to install the Steam Debian packet from Valve itself and not from Debian, which is all illog illogical to me because um, the Debian people do take the same debt from Valve and improve it. Why would they make it worse? But person keeps repeating stuff about it, uh, which is wrong. And now I'm motivated to show that it's wrong. Let's see. So person says, so this is why I tell people to use a file downloaded from Steam for installing on Debian. When you install it, it will add the i386 stuff for you automatically as well. So we will try that and not enable i386 stuff manually and see how it works. And so, you know, I've got a fresh system. You'll see, this is a Debian installer. You probably know in a VM. So I will not um, destroy my system and it's easier to make a recording in the VM. You know the drill. Um, at first I will download the Steam Deck from Valve and see how it works. And afterwards we'll see the Debian way and you can judge on your own what's easier, but uh, it's not hard to judge. Um, I want to add that I'm very grateful to Valve for providing Steam for Linux. It's great, thank you. It uh, allowed me to delete my Windows installation 11 years ago, I think, or 10 years. No, I think it was 11 years ago and I'm only gaming on Linux. I'm hard using Proton as well. I'm happy with the native games. So thank you all for doing that and uh, keep up the good work. And this is not about saying anything bad about what you've done there, but just to tell people how they easily get your program and buy your games. So as you've seen, this is a fresh installation. I hope my typing is not too loud the microphone. So you see something that's become root because why not? And let's have a look. Um, at first we'll download, we've been told it's all automatically and easily. So we just download the Steam app from Steam. And it's binary, so it needs to have this flag. Repo steambout.com, steam archive stable, steam latest app. Sounds good. Ah, there's no call in the first place. APT uh, install. Cool. Got a call, use a call. That's what I love about Linux. And we've got a steamed up. So let's just install it, right? We'll do everything for us automatically. If you should the right command. And see it doesn't. Why wouldn't it do that? <laughs> okay, now we could follow what it's saying. We could uh, install PK, XAC and PolyCKit1 and Sanity and whatever. But we don't need to. I would prefer to do it the Debian way. And so we'll do the following. Oh, I wouldn't need this anymore. We will need to tell Debian that it um, should do the 386 stuff as well, because by default it's only 64 bit. Yes. We need to tell. Debian that we want to have so-called non-free packages and contrib packages. Contrib non-free and of course if we're adding them there we're adding them at security as well. Okay that was nano the editor. I'm just pressing control x here and say yes please save it with the same file name 
now we tell it to look up what new packages there are because contract and non free are new and the i386 packages are new. So do we have another? It doesn't have the CD room I virtually used for the installation. Do we have something else to test now? Yes, we may say, as we've seen, we've got uh, added the architecture i386, which is uh, needed for the Debian Ray installation. Maybe this helps the Steam installation as well. So let's see, just install Steam latest step another time. And it still doesn't work. Oh no. So. Let's remove whatever we got from there. And let's do it the Debian way. apt install steam. It does install a lot of i386 packages because it's got its dependencies adapted to Debian, which the Valve dev doesn't because maybe it's for Ubuntu, maybe it doesn't care about uh, these uh, references. I don't know, I don't care. The Debian package is better adapted to Debian, as we can see. So please install all that stuff. <coughs> I'm not sure about the uh, graphical capabilities of this VM. I didn't test that before. So <coughs> we will make it all install, start Steam, see what it comes from it. I'm preparing the two-factor authentication in the meanwhile, if we are unlucky and get there. But you see that it does install Debian, uh, does install Steam, uh, does install the dependencies. So you're all set on a, a usual system with that. And um, I think we should be able to start Steam from here. What's important to know about Steam is that it doesn't matter how old the Debian package is or your Ubuntu or whatever package, because Steam always updates itself. It never gets a new Steam Debian package from anywhere, but it does update its binaries. So what's happening there is to be the user um, is happening on any system. Yes, please. I want to have that. That's what I've been talking about. The Steam executable has been started, and uh, from time to time, when there's a Steam update, you'll see this uh, not too beautiful. Uh, progress bar and it gets the current version of the Steam client as you got it on Windows as well. And you'll see that Steam will be starting afterwards. I think I should do a login as well and try to start some game. Ah, because of course there's no game um, <coughs> installed in the VM. I'm just installing Steam, so maybe I wouldn't inst uh, start a game, but you'll see that Steam is started hopefully. Yeah, um, what else? There's been some other um, postings by the person which were wrong as well. <clears throat> I don't really remember them now, but uh, as you can now see, um, the one is easier than the other. Of course, you can solve both ways. Uh, if you know what you're doing, please do what you're knowing. Um, if you're not sure, follow what I did here or look in the Debian wiki, which is uh, not too great overall, but fine enough at this place. Or I can link my homepage somewhere where it's uh, told how you can do that for an older Debian version. And um, you'll be set up all fine. It can play on Linux. So, install update, start Steam. <laughs> I'm playing Steam Runtime again. I think we've already saw this, seen this. Um, this is a very first Steam start, so it has to do some stuff. I'm not sure what runs in a container uh, with Steam for Linux, by the way. And there it is. Steam is installed. See you in the next video. Have fun.